Tonight, our economy is undergoing a period of uncertainty. America's added jobs for a record 52 straight months, but jobs are now growing at a slower pace. Wages are up, but so are prices for food and gas. Exports are rising, but the housing market has declined. At kitchen tables across our country, there is a concern about our economic future. In the long run, Americans can be confident about our economic growth. But in the short run, we can all see that that growth is slowing. I look around me and all I see is a docile society with a very bleak future ahead of itself. This land in which I live is nothing but a wasteland where mediocrity, monotony, and conformity rule the day. All thanks to our douchebag politicians that do not know how to lead. Their favors that they have given corporations have in turn fucked everyone else in the ass. These heartless corporations have turned America into a docile, plastic society where everything looks the same everywhere you go. Originality and individuality have been destroyed Advertisers pollute people's minds and turn everyone into mindless consumers, consuming the garbage that these corporations create. Forest and farmlands are destroyed to make way for uninspired giant concrete boxes that sell garbage and create eyesores by polluting the landscape with their crap. Seriously, straight up. Devil in Ohio, you know, the devil went down to Georgia, the Charlie Daniels too. He went down to Georgia because he's from here in Ohio. It's the middle, the Midwest, it's the root of all evil. Anything that was fucking beautiful on the earth, just like Satan creating all the fucking landscapes or whatever for God, was created here in the Midwest. It's fucking evil. They call it the Midwest because they're afraid to call it the Mideast, even though it is the Middle East of America. Corporations are not our friends. They are scavengers that prey on the helpless masses. They suck the life right out of life and replace it with an artificial facade of bullshit. As a result, our country is in deep, deep trouble. You only need to go one mile down the road from this bustling center of commerce to see the devastation this kind of mindless mass consumption leaves behind. The role of art is to, is to help people understand contemporary life, to illuminate contemporary life and best do that by, uh, by somehow dealing with the issues of your own or like your personal uh, passions and your personal problems and somehow other people living in the same era will be able to uh, respond to that. Uh, an artist is never free. An artist is a person who's bound by their gift, by their talent. They can use their freedom to realize that talent, or they can sell their souls for 30 pieces of silver. And in this business, that's a very big temptation. While these scavengers roam above us, waiting to take our money, our minds, and our souls, we ignore the reality in front of our face. The reality is that this kind of destructive lifestyle cannot sustain itself for much longer. We must somehow learn to live more creatively instead of mindlessly destroying our planet. If we continue down this path of mindless mass consumption, then the rest of the world is eventually going to look like this sad, desolate wasteland. Well, I'm really, despite all the negativity in the world, I'm really very optimistic. So that's a cross case. 
And I'm, I, I, want, I want to turn my back on and, and create something different. You know, and I really think deep down in the hearts of most Americans, that's what they want to do too. If they only knew how to do it. You, you can always learn how. You can always learn how. And sometimes it's, it's, it's uh, times such as this that really brings out the, the dramatic change in people. And they open themselves up to it. Like I say, we're, we're at the brink. As Americans, we believe in the power of individuals to determine their destiny and shape the course of history. We believe that the most reliable guide for our country is the collective wisdom of ordinary citizens. And so in all we do, we must trust in the ability of free peoples to make wise decisions and empower them to improve their lives for their futures. To build a prosperous future, we must trust people with their own money and empower them to grow our economy. The problem is that we live in a society that doesn't teach people to empower themselves. Our society teaches people to use only half their brain, and only people that use their whole brain can empower themselves. And the first step is creativity, not destruction. When a place called Consumer Square cannot survive in a consumerist society, then you know something major is wrong. Life could and should be so much better than this. We don't need these shopping wastelands populating our planet any longer. We must find a creative solution to this ravenous way of living. Life should be uh, enjoyable. It's, we should be happy. Not angry, you know? Yeah. Not this, this middle or pressure or anything like that. It should be cool. And why can't it be like that? Because that we got a lot of pressure, because money in the world, uh, income, school, stuff like that, and people on the streets and stuff like that. It's, it, it works all together. Don't get me wrong, it works all together.